Right, my friends, I thought, do you know what? Before I get myself onto a plane and head off to warmer climates, the sun comes out. What do you know? Typical. You're probably going to have the warmest ever two weeks in the UK. Now I'm off to Mallorca. However, what I want to do before I go away is get myself a Sunday roast, a proper Sunday roast. You know, get some goodness inside me, some carrots, some veg before I head off to Mallorca and get local with Spanish food like full English breakfast and fish and chips and pie and peas. You know what I mean in all the Irish bars and British pubs over there. Anyway, that's for a different vlog. Today I'm at the Dog and Duck in Clipston here, in New Clipston I think it is, in Nottinghamshire. I've been here before with Paige. I did give her an invite. I've tried to ring her a few times, but you know what children are like. They never answer their phone. I've messaged her. I said, if you want to come along, head over at 12 noon today and come and get a free lunch. Usually she would she would come along, but it, if she sees a phone, she'll be here, I guarantee it. If not, she probably won't. Anyway, so we're going to head in there. We're going to mark it out of 10. You guys are going to mark it out of 10 as well on looks and on price and on ambiance as well. If you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notification of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. So we are actually in King's Clipston, which is in the heart of Sherwood Forest. Now, please, no comments about me looking like Friar Tuck. And over there on the B-roll that you've just seen as well are the famous headstocks of Clipston Colliery. Little reminder of times gone by. Right, let's get in there now. Let's go and have a look at the menu, have a look around, and let's get down to this Sunday roast. Come on, onwards, my friends. Right, my friends, so here we are inside the Dog and Duck. Now, uh, it's a beautiful place, this is. Now, you're thinking there aren't many people in, but I've come first thing, because I say this all the time. In fact, there's people coming in now. The last thing that you want when you've come out for a Sunday roast is to have a YouTuber shouting about how crispy a Yorkshire pudding is. Uh, so I've come in a little bit early to get some footage and not disturb anybody. Uh, anyway, we're going to go for the Sunday roast today. I'm going to let you have a look at the menu in a moment. They've got uh, roast top side of beef served pink. Uh, I don't want I don't want my meat though so that you slap it and it comes back to life. We don't need a vet here that can bring it back to life. We've got pan roasted chicken breast. Uh, like a bit of breast myself. Uh, easy. It's a family channel and this is not a carry on movie. We've got a roast leg of pork. Uh, all the above uh, roasts are served with creamy mash, herb, 
roast potatoes, homemade Yorkshire puddings, uh, herb buttered seasonal vegetables, apricot and cranberry stuffing. I love a bit of cranberry stuffing uh, and uh, a rich roast gravy. Uh, so I am looking forward to this. You've got sides as well of cauliflower cheese. That is a little bit controversial. I like it myself. I know a lot of people do not like cauliflower cheese. Paige, by the way, isn't coming, my daughter, because she rang me and says, I can't come because I'm in, uh, she's in some park taking a walk around, etc. Um, anyway, we've got pigs in blankets as well, uh, or you can have an extra Yorkshire pudding. There's also desserts. Oh, I'm looking there as well. Sticky toffee pudding, my favourite. Anyway, tell me what you'd have in the comment section down below. And uh, they've also got pizzas here as well. And they've got their own wood-fired pizza oven and they specialise in pizzas. Must come back and try that out and uh, maybe I can get Paige to come along too. Anyway, take a close look at the menu, my friends. Right, so I have ordered my friends. Now, I had to go for it, didn't I? I had to do it. I mean, would you do it? I added the uh, cauliflower cheese and I also fell for it. I went for the pigs in blankets because I'm a bit of a pigs in blankets fan. So I've gone for that. I've also gone for the roast leg of pork. I was going to go for the chicken breast, but I think it's a Sunday roast. Obviously, beef is what you should have, really. But the pink thing. It kind of put me off, served pink I don't, I, and beef. I'm, a, I'm not a massive beef fan, I have to say. And I do like pork and I do like chicken. So uh, there we go. I am looking forward to this. An excellent Sunday roast right here in the heart of Sherwood Forest. Right, my friends, so the goods have arrived. Now, I managed to get a shot of um, the chicken dinner as well because the lady over there has got chicken dinner. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she said, you can film it if you want me, duck. So I said, all right then, uh, I'll go for it. I've got the cranberry sauce. I've got the pigs in blankets here, which are amazing. Just look at that. Proper like big sausage with some uh, bacon wrapped around it. The food looks great. I've gone for the cauliflower cheese, got an extra gravy boat here and the gravy is nice and thick so before we go any further just take a closer look my friends Right, so there you go. Right, hang on a minute. I'm going for the, uh, oh. Pig in blanket is amazing. Absolutely beautiful, right. Get a bit of black pepper on there. Black pepper, who remembers that uh, sketch from Hale and Pates? Black pepper. There we go, get a bit of that on. Those, I can't believe the amount of pigs in blanket. That is full to the brim of layered and laced pigs in blankets there. I mean, that, that would be a meal within it. I don't think I want to manage all that. Might have to take them back. Right. First things first, let's go in. Got the crackle in there as well. Look at that, my dad used to love this. He used to put a bit of vinegar on it. I'd probably break my teeth on it. Mmm. Nothing like a bit of pig skin. Right. Beautiful Yorkshire pudding, homemade there. 
we've got to, I'm going to put them crackling bits to the side at the moment. There we go. And we've got the pork here. Looks gorgeous. Looks very succulent, not too dry. Got the roast potato under here as well. Roast potatoes. There we go. Done nicely. Oh, and the mash. Look at that. I can tell that has got butter in it. Let's have a look. Mmm. That is nice and rich. Got the carrot. I like the carrot cut that way as well, rather than into little um, coin shapes. That's nice. Mmm. You can tell that it's fresh. That is gorgeous. Really, really strong taste to it as well. Um, we've got the uh, broccoli here as well. Broccoli cooked there perfectly not too crunchy and not too soft either i reckon what we'll do next let's go into the meat here going for the pork sometimes pork can be a little bit dry that's gorgeous it's a bit crunchy actually i wonder whether they've kept some of the that is gorgeous a little bit of saltiness to it as well that is lovely and the gravy is so tasty that is thick gravy there's nothing worse than having thin gravy that's perfect all right i'm gonna have a little bit more of this for the gravy mm. now then got the stuff in here as well nice bit of stuff in there let's taste this Oh wow, that. Let me just read that on the menu. That is a tasty stuffing, that is. Apricot and cranberry stuffing. And I love cranberries. And that taste is coming through. And you can taste the apricots in there as well. That is a gorgeous stuffing. Right, roast potatoes. Cooked perfectly. Slightly crunchy on the outside, not too much. And a nice soft potato there on the inner I think for me my favorite I'm gonna go for the cauliflower cheese but is these pigs in blankets are phenomenal oh wow there's just so many of them the lit I mean look at this there literally is the stacks of pigs in blankets there wow Go for a bit of cauliflower cheese. Let's have a look at this. Look at that. I love a bit of cauliflower cheese. I also like a bit of mac and cheese as well. Into macaroni and cheese. Let's taste this. Sometimes, see what cheese is like. Mmm. That's a nice cheese as well. It's got a good bite to it. Sorry for interrupting, just checking everything okay. Everything's fine, thank you very much. Get you any no, thank you very much, thank you. Absolutely perfect, that cheese has got a nice bite to it. This is a great meal. I'm not sure I'm gonna manage all the uh, the crackling there. Uh, I might have to leave that. And I might, add... look at that. That is my favorite. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, before I leave you there to watch me eat, I'm gonna dip it in that gravy, look at that. Look at that. Right, let's go for this. I'm gonna get food from ear to ear. <laughs> right. I'll eat this, come back to you, and then we'll mock it out of town. Not sure I'm gonna have room for dessert with all them pigs in blankets. Got a whole pigsty in there. didn't uh, let you know what the Yorkshire pudding is like but do you know what I'm going to do with the Yorkshire pudding is I'm going to lace it in gravy there we go look at that proper Yorkshire no Aunt Bess is here yeah that's banging 
Right, go on, leave me to it. These are uh, roasted carrots as well. Phenomenal. Mm. I've just noticed one thing with the Yorkshire puddings being a bit of a food efficient order, of course. Uh, the actual base of the Yorkshire puddings, quite small, but they've grown and built up and flowered up to be huge. This is a superb homemade Yorkshire pudding. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, I think you have seen enough angles of me filling my mush. I'm not going to go for a dessert or a pudding or a sweet or whatever you want to call it because I've got to tell you, I am absolutely hodged. I mean, crikey, I, I'm, I'm more fed. I've been more fed than the actual uh, pigs that are in these blankets. Easy vegans, I can hear you all there now. That, that pigs in blanket are the best pigs in blankets I've ever tasted in my life and uh, they are absolutely gorgeous. I've made a few notes mentally, I'm gonna write them down and I'm gonna let you know what I think of each and every um, piece of food that's actually on this plate, because it is superb, it really is. So I'll see you guys outside, tell me what you think. We'll get the old Jack and Jill and I'll see you outside. Right, well, I'll tell you this straight away. Now you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section down below, but I think you're gonna to have to go a long way to find a better Sunday roast than that. I think it was absolutely superb. I'd say the best Sunday roast that I've ever had, period. That's it. Anyway, I've made some notes about the Sunday roast, which I'm gonna get out to now. I tell you what, I'm being all serious today, aren't I? Rather than just saying it's crunchy on the inside, outside and soft on the in, the pork. Let's start on the pork, shall we? Lean, not too fatty. Uh, and the Yorkshire pudding was excellent. And you could tell that because of the base that it was actually cooked in and how the Yorkshire pudding raised. I don't know how they'd got them to raise like that at all. Homemade Yorkshire puddings. Amazing, really nice. Uh, sometimes they can be a little bit chewy. That wasn't, it was perfect. The pigs in blankets. Let's just press pause here a minute and let's just take a moment to give respect to those pigs in blankets because a pig gave its life for that pigs in blanket. And it was worth it because they were superb. It was like one long thick sausage covered in bacon and then cut down uh, the middle there in segments. So that was great in slices, superb. And it had actually got herbs in it as well. And they were really, really nice seasoning in it and uh, tasted lovely. I mean, it was a meal in itself. The veg, not overcooked, uh, it was roasted perfectly and it was buttered and herbed as well and you could taste that as well. You can see how popular it is, it's getting really busy in here now. Uh, in fact, it's packed in there. The gravy, I have to say when you go to a, a lot of places now, they, they skimp on the gravy and it does my head in. You always have to, have to ask them for another gravy boat. But not there, you, you, was, you was drowning in gravy, it was insane. And it was thick as well. Um, the uh, cauliflower cheese, nice, got a good bite to it on the cheese as well, not plasticky like American cheese. I know all the Americans uh, watching now are going to say there's nothing wrong with our cheese. But I used to live there, as I keep saying on these videos, for 12, uh, 12 years I think it was, and the cheese, you put cheese on cheese. You have cauliflower cheese with extra cheese and it's like melted carrier bags. Nah, it was superb. 
uh, but I love America by the way so don't don't tell me off in the comment section um, the stuff in loved it you could taste the apricot and the cranberry in there as well and the mashed potatoes were lovely nice and thick the service itself it was superb, it was impeccable service, uh, and the total bill came to, are you ready my friends? Here we are, the total bill came to 192, no I'm just kidding, uh, 27 pounds, I couldn't be sensible for long could I? 27 pounds and 95 pence. Uh, so large Diet Coke, roast pork, cauliflower cheese, pigs in blankets it was excellent you're gonna to have to go a long way to find a better Sunday roast than that marks out of 10 oh dear this is a difficult one because I don't think a 10 is high enough for that I give a lot of 10s don't you I've started you know hammering it down a little bit now not giving as many out that was a 10 plus it was stratospherical and you, I, I think superb. You have to go a long way to find a better Sunday roast than that. That's the dog and duck in Kings Clipston. Robin Hood Country, thank you for watching. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, before you go, just give it a thumbs up. Do it now. Won't cost you out. It'll cost you nothing. Blooming. Is that an electric car? Blooming electric cars. Anyway, I had to get that in, didn't I? See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.